uh, can make communities unsafe. Shortly after the mayor and police chief spoke about the overwhelming number of shootings in the district, there was another one, this time in Shaw. Three men shot shortly before 2 p.m. along Rhode Island Avenue. They're expected to survive. But all of this while police still investigate nearly a dozen shootings over the weekend, including one where a suspect used a rifle to kill two teens. It was not a random act. Uh, it looks like it was a targeted shooting. So far, there have been at least 25 murders this year, just as many as this time in 2019. But looking closely at the crime data, we noticed for the first time in the last five years, most of these killings have been in wards five and six, which include Navy Yard and Ivy City. Historically, most DC murders have happened east of the Anacostia River by this time. City leaders began noticing a shift in deadly crime late last year. It's why they began moving resources to once quiet areas of the city during their first ever fall crime initiative. Unprecedented. Mayor Bowser continues to point the finger at illegal firearms being brought in from neighboring states, primarily Virginia. What that is going to take is a real push against the NRA, a real push uh, for our Congress. And D.C. police echoing the mayor's statement tonight, saying when it comes to reducing crime, removing illegal firearms and a safe and respectful manner will remain their top priority. I'm Lorenzo Hall, WUSA 9.